Hello, this is a video walkthrough of our last tab in the keyboarding exercises spreadsheet. So in this tab, the goal is to sum up a big range of numbers. And I'm going to show you a couple ways to do this and a couple of shortcuts on how to do this as quickly as possible. All right, so the first thing is we can use the skill we have. Control right arrow takes us all the way over to the end, the 14 in this case. One more arrow over, and now I can start writing a formula in this cell. A little, the most basic way to do this is to type equals sum and then open your parentheses. At this point, if I hit my left arrow, I select the 14 and then control shift together with another left arrow allows me to pick that entire row. All right, I've highlighted the entire row. I can put my closed parentheses and now I've summed it up. All right, now there are quicker ways to do that. So let me show you another way. Instead, we can actually use alt equals. Alt equals held together is an auto sum feature. So it sums in this case, everything to the left and it makes it a much quicker process for us to get that basic sum function done. So now our next goal is gonna be to copy this all the way down these cells. All right, so the first way we can do this is we can just use control C. We can hold down shift and down arrow, go as far as we want and control V to paste. So that's a pretty efficient way to do it, but it can be done faster. So let's go ahead and delete that again. An alternative is that we can hit control shift end. It's gonna take us to the bottom of a section of rows that we've been in. Notice in this case, it takes us a little too far. So we can hit shift up arrow to go back up one. And now we can hit control D. Control D fills down whatever is in the top cell. So instead of having to do control copy, control C, and then control V to paste, control D allows the entire thing to fill down. Now, the second part of this exercise is to sum now all the columns. So to do that, again, we can use all equals. In this case, our auto sum sees that we have cells above us, not in the column in the row in this case, or sorry, in the column and not the row in this case. And so it auto sums and we can hit enter. Now, again, we can use control shift in. In this case, it goes all the way to the end to the right, and we can use control R to fill all the way across. As a last thing, once we're, we've selected that, we have to hit one more keystroke, go to a different cell, and then it'll tell us that we've finished the assignment. In this case, over a few videos, I finished the assignment in 499 seconds. It also tells me that I used the mouse five times. So be careful about using the mouse. The more you use it, the more it's gonna slow you down.